Hey, did you already print up pictures? How cool. Hey, Shutterbug. What's up? I miss Tammy. Well, of course you do, but not for long, because something tells me she's going to turn up real soon. It's like waiting for Santa. You know, you, you think Christmas morning is never going to get here, but then it you find exactly what you were hoping for under the tree. Really, Tammy is going to be like a gift to the whole family that Santa brings us. There is no Santa Claus. So Tammy will never be back. Archie, why are you saying that? Because of him. Honey, did, did Jeffrey do something that upset you? So don't tell me there's a Santa Claus. Uh, of course there's a Santa Claus because uh, I leave him cookies every year and he always leaves me a present. Because she's such a good girl. Even when I'm bad. <sighs> I told him he was going to get a bike for Christmas. He saw me putting it together. Got it. RJ, you know, a picture doesn't always tell the whole story. Now, maybe, bear with me here, maybe Santa left a note for Jeffrey saying, I am swamped this year. I need to drop off some gifts early, unassembled. So if you would please put this bike together for me and leave it early for RJ for Christmas, that would be great. Not buying it, huh, RJ? RJ, did I ever tell you about Flubble versus Flubble? It's a very famous case. Uh, it's obscure, but very famous. I, I think I've heard of it. <laughs> See, there, there you go. Uh, it's actually a, a true story uh, about a boy about your age who sued his very own parents for something called false representation, which is a fancy way of saying for lying. See, uh, he claimed that his parents told him that Santa Claus brought his presents every year and he didn't believe that not only that but he he felt wantonly and willfully misled about said mr claus and so he found the toughest lawyer he could find and he hauled his parents into court for something called restitution which is which means big bucks exactly <laughs> yeah. well you see the, the trial started and things weren't looking good for the flubbles uh you see they couldn't produce one shred of evidence that santa claus existed because santa claus is magical and it's very hard to prove the existence of something that's magical so when all seemed lost for the flubbles the lawyer stunned the courtroom by calling up the last person they could ever expect to be put on the stand the boy himself oh my gosh what happened well the lawyer started asking him questions about past christmases did he remember past Christmases? Did he look forward to them? Did he always get the toys and presents that he wanted? Were stockings hung and were Christmas carols sung and were there Christmas cookies? Well, the boy was under oath and he couldn't lie, so he had to say yes, he remembered that. And the more that he remembered, the more that he smiled. And that's when he realized what the magic of Christmas was. The magic of Christmas is that Christmas makes everyone smile. So he ran over to his parents and he gave them a big hug and the, the lawyers were also ecstatic and everyone in the courtroom was ecstatic because the jury was in and the verdict was... Not guilty! Not guilty! Oh, I've never met a flubble I didn't like. Wow. <laughs> you know, maybe, maybe the past doesn't matter. Maybe when you find love, you just have to hang on to everything you've got. You say the word, and she's roadkill. Come on, Pop. It's Christmas. Not yet, it ain't. <laughs> when Santa Claus gets